Good bullish day for both Dow Jones and Nasdaq and both achieved my next targets at 33,100 and 12,100. I hope you all profited with the Asia session analysis precisely 10 hours back. I asked you to buy and I expected I, and I told you the targets and resistance levels. Also remember the next resistance level which is precisely 12,200 and 33,200 is still let, uh, a little far away. So what is going to happen? Is it going to go till there or is it going to reverse and the rise is done? Which position you should take, we will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the twice a day analysis and targets which I share for Dow Jones and Nasdaq. Once with the Asia session, next with the US session. This is the second session, second analysis for the day. So do press the bell icon, watch both. Let's start first to look into Tech 100 followed with Dow Jones. Now see at this point we had seen I told you 11800 is a very strong support zone and once it breaks out beyond 11900 we can certainly expect a little rise and see 12100 is done which is certainly a very good resistance in fact I will recommend you to wait for 12140 130 levels even if this is taken then certainly we can expect 12200 levels. Now 12200 is the level beyond which certainly we can expect that it is trying to trade bullish. Now see. If you look at the early chart, see breakout at 12900. So every 100 points, now NASDAQ 100 is trying to create a pit stop for itself. So 900, then a rise, then a pit stop at 12,000, then a rise 12100. And now it is trying to retrace. Also, if you look at the move here, this is a bullish move and it is trying to trade within this. Now at the same time, if you connect these to the slope here is a bit less than what we had seen but still it is trying to trade in this bullish zone after this breakout hence if you see it trading about 12100 again you can stay long at the same time below 12000 certainly little more bearishness might take it for 11965 and 11900 levels as the next support level if you look at the early stock i stick this is overbought and looking down the macd is in green and it is trying to converge if you look at the RSI, this is also trading near to the high levels and looking down here. If you look at the two R charts, similar formation, 900, 800, 900, 12,000, 12,100. So every 100 points it is trying to create. So it appears simple so far that a sell below 12,000 and a buy above 12,100. These 100 points, let's be watchful. The stochastic overbought, MACD is still divergent and bullish and it is still looking upwards. RSI looking down showing little loss of strength there and if you look at the 3R charts so far highs retracement highs retracement possibly we may see it uh, trading bearish and only and only if it stays below 11.965 levels. Now see stochastic is overbought here the MACD is bullish here trying to flatten the candles a bit also look at the super trend there is a crossover on the super trend is seen and this is a bullish cross which is coming which is signaling after a long while this is just on the super trend which means an nasdaq 100 might have entered into a bullish zone see rsi looking down here and if you look at the four hour charts but i don't go by any such signals I, i'll just stick to the charts here now look at the four hour charts see uh, 11900 then this breakout candle couple of retracement candles I told you in the morning also that this is just a minor retracement just to cool down the indicators and then I told that you can see this 12100 multiple candles on the 4 hour charts getting the resistance at same levels it has come to this zone again and once it stays about 12130 we can expect that the next resistance is 185 and 12200 you have to be careful of these levels if it is if and only if it stays about 12130 so about 12100 certainly more bullishness can be seen there now look after a couple of retracement one bullish candle probably there could be a second bullish candle and this is only applicable if it stays about 12000 levels then possibly it can bounce back we may see it trading bullish again the stochastic overbought macd is divergent and bullish looking up rsi trading with slight bearishness now look at the daily charts on the daily charts most importantly see this multiple candles previously we had seen lower highs lower lows 
this candle is kind of a breakout candle this candle is trying to sustain this candle is trying to indicate that it is trying to trade bullish here because beyond this it can try to uh, achieve a little further highs for 12400 if not today possibly by next week it can try to reverse a little so this candle is kind of important for me as if it stays above 12100 and 12200 zone more bullishness will be confirmed there so also if you look at this the it has given a flat opening at 20 period moving average exponential moving average here sorry 50 period and then the 20 period moving average exponential moving average is going to give it a resistance at 130 150 levels and which makes these levels as a stronger resistance zone also now see stochastic on the daily charts is now looking upwards showing a little strength the MACD and this uh, we had seen several times now those who are new let me repeat it again and again till the time you can see this formation here now see the MACD also is precisely trying to trade in this channel now it has achieved the bottom it is trying to reverse here RSI is also looking upwards considering this trading is very simple today you can buy at 12 100 and sell at 12,000 levels about 12,100 possibly 130, 160 and 200 in in fact 185 is the level you should watch out for and then 12,200 will be seen so beyond this certainly we can expect that Nasdaq 100 not today but maybe Monday or Tuesday next week also may see little more bullishness which can continue with the bullish momentum there and on the downside below 12,000 only little more bearishness is confirmed to but more specifically, I will wait for it to break past 11,960-965 levels in order to confirm the bearishness and then 11,900 will confirm that it is trying to drop more. Take your trades accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at Dow Jones and yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. The 20th mentorship batch starts on 13th of March. Book your seats now, reserve your seats now, reach out to me for more details, my telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now see, many a times I told you 32500 very very strong support and since then how beautiful a rise we have seen. But this time there is still a scope for it to continue in this bullish channel and there is a possibility for it to break past 33200 also but it is going to happen or not? Let's see. Now if you look at the early chart, see a breakout here at 32800. The strong bullish momentum is seen till 33100. Retracement and now again double top. So wait for it to stay above 33100 certainly that will be a good indication that it is trying to trade bullish. At the same time only and only if first 33000 if it trades below yes you can sell but then 32950, 32900 and only if it trades below 32880 we can confirm that we are seeing the bearishness there. Now see the stock stick is certainly overbought which can bring it a little down. If you look at the MACD this is bullish and this is at extremes here but see we have seen extremes drop also so extreme rise can also cannot be denied. RSI also trading near to the highs here and if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts similar is the observation see rise and how beautiful the consolidation and the retracement was there. Uh, we talked about this in the morning also that once it stays above 33 th we can expect 33100 and now it is precisely achieving the same. So certainly below 33,000 there could be little bearishness which might bring it for 32, 940, 900 levels and rather 880 levels and below that only bearishness is confirmed there till the time possibly little more bullishness can be seen. Stock ISIC on the overbought levels, MACD bullish, RSI near to the high levels, near to the overbought levels. Now look at the 3 hour charts. On the 3 hour charts, more importantly, there is a buy signal from the super trend. Now, uh, I will cover these educative series and in the course also and sometimes in the YouTube also. But right now, it is signaling a buy signal on the 3 hour charts and this is happening after a long while. You can see when it has crossed over here, it has traded bearish so far and now it is signaling a buy signal. It is generating a buy signal so possibly it can try to trade bullish my expectation is also the same now look at the MACD this is trying to converge the 20 50 100 period moving average looking upwards indicating bullishness but at the same time one must not forget rise retracement double top possibly if it stays below 32 880 considering we can expect little more bearishness there now 
स्टॉक आज टिक हेयर इज ओवर बॉट द मैग डी बुलिश आर एस आई ट्रेडिंग नियर टू द टॉप देयर एंड लेट्स एवर लुक एट द फोर आर चार्ट सी ऑन द फोर आर चार्ट राइज थ्री कैंडल्स ग्रीन वन ओवर बॉट कैंडल देन रिट्रेसमेंट एंड देन दिस फर्स्ट कैंडल सो possibility exists that we can see a second and third green candle and if it does certainly more bullishness might be seen 33 200 33 400 levels cannot be denied daily a uh, four hour chart stochastic overbought macd trading with a good bullish move looking upwards rsi is also looking up here now if you look at the daily charts on the daily charts see the candle is almost equal there this is third green candle and remember it can still show you good swing there is a services data there is a pmi services data which is still due possibly once it stays beyond 30 to 950 we can expect 900 800 and in fact it can try to draw for 700 now 1.2 remember today 30 to 700 is going to be an extremely important support level you have to be careful there if it drops 30 to 700 is going to come to the rescue stochastic rising there the macd trying to converge on the daily charts possibly we can see it crossing over rsi also trying to look up considering this very simple buy at 33 100 expect 33 180 200 the next resistance zone and beyond that we may see it hitting 33 350 400 in if not today possibly by next week and beyond that the sky is the limit on the downside you can sell here at 33000 levels but remember 32940 32980 levels these two levels you should watch out for and then 32800 if it stays below 32800 we can expect little more bearishness which might take it for 32700 and this levels 32700 is going to be an extremely important level for today even if it drops till towards this levels it can try to bounce back it can try to recover hence take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss it has seen a good rise for the day possibly it can try to retrace a bit before trying to show the strength again have a great profitable trading day join my mentorship batch join my singles group reach out to me for more details telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you